how, how do I code instead of procrastinating about coding? When it comes to writing a game, is it good to plan? I've only ever done really fancy projects, not projects, not programs. Um, how to not procrastinate? That's a that's a big question. Um, if you uh, if you find the answer, please tell me. Yeah, uh, share it with one. the world. You'll be a <laughs> yeah. million. You'll be rich. <laughs> Um, I mean, planning is good. I, I, I guess it just depends on on what you're writing, what you're doing. You know, as Jason said earlier, you should always ask yourself what you're what you're doing and, and why you're doing it. And so, if if your idea is, um, oh look, well, I'm just wondering how other programmers create a game. Do they sit down and plan it before writing it? Yeah, I mean, there's a there's tons of ways to approach it. I mean, you could be someone who you could be the kind of person that can just sit down, code for hours without getting distracted and knock out a really cool, you know, game. And, and maybe that's how you you operate. Um, uh, otherwise, I mean, some people really need to plan if it's something if it's a project that you're planning on starting a business around, you know, you're, this is a game that you really need to sell and turn into, you know, something that's profitable. It's probably recommended that you do some planning ahead of time. Um, set expectations, set, uh, you know, milestones, things like that. But if you're just like, ah, I'm just trying to have fun and learn, you know, it's a hobby, you know, if you're just a hobbyist, then you're probably fine just doing whatever works for you, sitting down and coding something up and sharing it with your friends or whatever. But, uh, you know, it, there's, a, there's a lot of moving parts, you know, to this question, because it just depends on the context of where you are, what you're trying to accomplish, basically. I, I'm I'm gonna go a little bit hard on this one and have a have a hot take that might rustle ruffle some feathers ooh, on this ooh. one. So get ready. In my opinion, there are two things that most um, productive or artistic people in general get wrong. They just fundamentally misunderstand or uh, lie to themselves about. And the first one is that I work better listening to music. This is factually wrong. Under every single considerable test that's ever been done. <laughs> People are slower with music. The one exception is if you're doing something like folding envelopes. If you can get your brain into a rhythm, great, you're a bit faster. But anything that requires even a fraction of cognitive load, music will make you slower. Now, funnily enough, things like classical music make you less slower, but they do make you slower. There is nobody, nobody has been proven to work faster with music. Hmm. That being said, I work with music because I enjoy it. But I'm not lying to myself about the fact that it's making me better or faster or whatever else. So like, don't, don't not listen to music because you want to be whatever. But if you're like a, a perfect test of this is if you are, if you're working on some code and there's a bug you can't solve and you listen to music, be honest with yourself. Do you pause the music <laughs> because you need to concentrate better? And if so, oh, that's uh, funny. Yeah. <laughs> ask yourself if the music was actually helping you or not. So yeah. that's one. And two people who jump in and start writing code are fundamentally less productive than people who plan first. Mm -hmm. um, and this goes for every single facet of life. Now, there's a fine line between over planning and using planning as a procrastination tool mm -hmm. versus just getting work done. And the, the, the line I would say is you need to plan enough to know what your point is. Because what people do wrong, and this is again, you'll see it all the time, no matter what your profession is, there's a concept of doodling. Now, doodling is great when you're in school and you're playing and you're just drawing whatever. Um, but I saw a TED talk recently where someone was talking about this. He basically learned how to draw in the space of six months and sort of went in depth on how to maximize his efficiency with this. Because he, he, made he, he was focused and he wasn't, yeah, he was, he was he, uh, what yeah. he, what's the word, um, purposeful. Well, well, to be honest, he, he, he did one of the oldest trick in the book, and I've done this myself with a friend of mine, is you make a bet for something you really don't want to lose. So in my case, it was... Uh, Five hundred dollars. In this guy's case, it was a thousand dollars. I think was it uh, Blender Guru? Because he did the same thing. It was most of the, yeah, it was actually. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he was he was learning to draw. So he decided mm -hmm. he, he was he's good at he was good at modeling. What he wanted to learn how to draw. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's perfect. That's what it was. Um, but the general point is that he 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 did this because you you then have to if, if your goal is now maximize work, you have to try to get as much done as humanly possible. How do you do it? Well, you sit down and f write your goal down. Now, when I say write your goal down, I don't mean go away and spend six months. <laughs> um, you know, making a business plan. What you want to do is make your goal for that um, month, that week, and that day. And that's it. For your month, what would I like to have done by the end of the month? What would I like to have done by the end of the week? What are the next actionable steps? And this is the other trick. Don't write down, I will have my game running. <laughs> write down, 
I actually I will things. write the code for my movement system and then break that down into actions and tasks and whatever. So long story short, if you just start typing to make a game, you're not going to make a game. You're going to faff around <laughs> for a while. You'll have fun doing it. But by yeah. the end of it, you'll be like, did I learn anything? Did I get anywhere? Did I just play around? Now, this isn't to say you can't play around to find fun. Like if you if you say, I want to build a system where I can shoot bullets, that is my goal at the end of the day. I want to write some code where I click my mouse and then bullets fire. You can then say, after you've done that, I'm going to spend three hours messing because I want to check speeds and rates of fire and I want to find the funnest thing. Um, but you have to write it down first. If you don't start your day with a goal, you have no way of measuring if you did correctly do your goal. So... Um, just literally like the answer is always plan but plan to do precisely what you need to get done don't use it as a procrastination thing and don't think just because you are writing code you are doing work they are not the same thing they're yeah. very deceptively not the same thing you could you could code for four hours and go that was great oh i just spent four hours making an animation system for my ui when i meant to sit down and write my movement code because it was boring or i was getting stuck and so i decided to distract myself so yeah plan do plan always plan <laughs> i saw i saw a really good tim ferris video the other day that really kind of opened my eyes to something that i was doing um and that's uh just because you're being productive doesn't mean you're being effective and uh you know i see that with with the whole youtube you know making youtube videos um i could be very productive in a week and and for a long time every video that i put out i would work to caption it i would do captioning by hand i would recut it for facebook um, I would create a, a GIF for like Twitter specifically and Reddit. Anyway, all, I was doing all these auxiliary tasks outside of just making a video to put on YouTube um, that you know made me feel very productive. But if I look back at all the analytics, me cutting those Facebook videos, if I look at the percentage of viewers I get from Facebook, it's less than 1%. So I'm being productive, but that's not effective. That's not an effective use of my time. Um, and the same thing goes to coding or, or, or creating a game. Um, you have to think about what you're doing. And I, I think I saw someone in chat saying that they, they love to, to optimize before they move on. I mean, optimizing, you'll feel very productive. You know, you might, you might say, Hey, look, this list isn't great. I'm going to, I'm going to make my own optimal, um, data structure so that it, so that it's very optimized, whatever, uh, it's just not effective. If you think about what the ROI, the return, uh, the return of interest return on interest uh, is it's just you have to weigh those constantly and that brings me back to another thing that you were saying jason about setting you know i think a daily weekly and a monthly the point of those things is that you can always check in you you have to constantly be checking in it's 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 like a feedback loop just like when you develop code you write code you check it and see what it did and then you move on from that and i don't think enough people do that with their lives you know you do something you need to check in with yourself and say, what did I do? Was it worth it? What did I get out of it? And should I do it again? Or should I say that this was not effective? So yeah, those, those sorts of things definitely are, are valuable. And if you're the kind of person who's like me and hates uh, wishy-washy sentiments with very hard to quantify suggestions, where you actually want to give me a 10-step guide for me to do this so I can actually be more productive, there, get that oh, book. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, so that is, that's my number one suggested. If you want to get better at everything, organize your time, manage your projects, do stuff. This is your best book. Like, let, let me recommend that you buy the book because, or get it on Kindle because the audio book is awful. It's so boring. <laughs> I couldn't get I, through well, it. I, admittedly, I enjoyed the audio book, but like it did, it did. I went for walks with it and it took me a long time. And then when I was done, I bought the book because mm. it's just better. Than, than the book. Yes.